Miracles happen every day. Things that people believed were impossible are proved possible. And having had that experience, the people involved are changed forever. But the thing about miracles is that once they happen, people have a way of going back to how things were, of undervaluing such an event or even dismissing it as they struggle to fit that into their framework for understanding how reality is. It is human nature that we look to one another to reinforce our ideas of what is real. So I say we break that pattern today and share our stories. Because when we do, we elevate others' perceptions of what is possible. And they start to become aware of those things in their own lives. And that is the first step to creating change for all. My miracle, or at least my biggest one to date, came earlier this year when a lifetime of food intolerances went away overnight. Not quite allergies, this meant that many foods were toxic to my system. And so as I consumed them, and in combinations in greater quantities, my energy levels deteriorated, and my body lashed out with violent stomach pains, nausea, headaches, itches, temperature fluctuations, and cramps. During high school, I discovered that these food intolerances extended to not just a few major food groups, but enough to eliminate 90% or more of what you would find in a supermarket. And, well, certainly any food that anyone has attempted to flavour, mass produce, or try and outdo competing products. All my life, friends and families knew me as the person who you'd invite to a gathering and have to make something special for, because I couldn't eat anything else. Or worse, <laughs> we'd all want to go to a restaurant or something, and everyone would be forced to go to a plainer restaurant where I could have at least something off of the menu. They'd try to be considerate, and ask what particular items I couldn't eat, and every time I would tell them not to worry about it, because getting it right was nearly impossible. If asked, I would usually just say, ask me what I can have, it's easier. I saw doctors and alternative healers of all kinds over the space of 10 years, and nothing helped. I had long since decided I was incurable, but earlier this year, my food intolerances were not only dealt with, but have since vanished entirely. In January, I experienced a process created by transformational coach Joanne Antoon, called CTC, the two-hour life-changing combined therapy cocktail, more fondly known as Cut the Crap. This process combined elements of neurolinguistic programming, hypnosis, emotional freedom technique, Reiki, and more, to deal with not necessarily my food intolerances, but more the deeper issues at the core of my being. The issues which had enabled, and to my subconscious mind, necessitated their existence. CTC drew on the understanding that my mind and body had programmed and wired themselves based on early traumatic experiences in order to protect myself from perceived dangers. That old negative thoughts, when met by a strong enough emotional charge, had been given lasting power over me. With those emotions released, and those neural connections weakened, I was empowered to move forward, and many of my old issues, including the allergies, just fell away. I've been working in the fields of personal development and modern spirituality for a few years now, and I'd had dozens of experiences up to that point that defied conventional perception. But this was one miracle I couldn't ignore. It's experiences like these that elevate your level of belief of conviction in something greater than yourself. Miracles are possible, and the means that healed me of my food intolerances have delivered miracles of a million different forms as far back as we go. If you've had a miracle experience of your own, I personally invite you to share it to the world. Anything you've experienced that defies convention, big or small. Maybe you've experienced sudden or unexpected healing. Perhaps something happened to a loved one and you just knew. Perhaps you received an insight from a psychical guide that proved true. Maybe you have a parking angel that just never lets you down. What do you know is possible that others don't? I challenge you to challenge others. Elevate their perception of what is possible. Inspire them. Because when you believe, you invite miracles. So get out your smartphone or camera and get sharing your stories in whatever way feels right to you. YouTube, social media, whatever. 
Just include hashtag I believe in miracles and you can change the world. It only takes two people who agree to make a reality. When more are added, that personal reality becomes a paradigm. Paradigms like it's a man's world. How do you think that one began to topple? People challenged it. People don't think miracles exist. Show them otherwise. Thank you.